This is Ishana, and Ishana, is this your first uh, event with RTR? It is. What interests me about wanting to get to know you was sitting around the campfire last night and hearing your story. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to mine in that you have a husband at home, one that you love dearly, mm -hmm. and 20 years before I actually hit the road, you went on the road Ooh. by yourself solo. So tell me a little bit about your story. Well, let's see, I, I grew up, uh, my parents traveled a lot, and by, when I was six months old, we started living in Europe. And the story just continues from there. And then when I was about 27, I believe, I, for a year and a half, maybe two years, I strapped on a backpack, said this isn't working for me anymore, this whole mainstream thing, I gotta find some meaning and purpose, and I went to Europe. Uh, back where I started, no plan, mm -hmm. one-way ticket. My father was in the middle of transitioning and he said, go for it. So I did and I rediscovered why I wanted to be here on planet Earth and that was to explore and see, have new experiences and help people. Was, Again, I didn't know that I started my travels in Europe as well. You did? Oh, yeah, my kids pushed me to do it. Well, there is something about this uh, RTR where we find we are each finding that we have something really core to us in common that's brought us here. Right. It's pretty special to find yeah. a tribe. So that experience uh, showed me how important it is for me to be able to wander in order to tune in. Mm -hmm. And then recenter and get on with my life with that new centering. So then fast forward another 10, 12 years and I hit the road again. I had a house in Vermont and already raised, uh, helped raised a step family. And I hit the road in another blue van from California to Vermont, I mean, Vermont to California and back again mm -hmm. for three months. There was no structure, no YouTubing, no caravans. I did it on my own slept in truck stops and KOAs and friends' driveways, and I loved it. Had an army cot, a few bins, and I was happy. And then I came back to Vermont in April and knew that, no, I'm not, I'm not ever doing a winter in Vermont again. <laughs> I'm gonna, this is gonna be my new lifestyle. But then I fell in love, got married, a new step family, and just, you know, really loved being a part, have loved being a part of my new family, but burning out on Vermont, New England, gray, cold winters has taken a toll. So a few years ago, I said to my, my husband, I, I want you to come with me. I am going uh, for the winter. I don't know where I'm going to get in the van and go. Then I got a job that kept me in the area and then COVID happened. Oh, yeah. This went this summer, I I was dreading the winter, so I was not enjoying the summer. And I just knew for my mental health, my survival truly, because my thoughts in the gray cold winters are a little scary, you know? They're, mm -hmm. not, they're not healthy. And I just knew I needed to hit the road and that I could work from the road too. My husband decided to stay home and tend the home fires literally and figuratively mm -hmm. for the winter. and has been a tremendous support of my adventure yeah. and knowing that this is really our new lifestyle together going forward. Whether he chooses to stay in Vermont for the winters or come with me, we're still a partnership in this and we're each having our own adventures. Yeah, that's the same way I feel too. That you're each having your own adventures I think together. so, yeah. yeah. We're growing, you know, we've been married 10 years mm -hmm. and this for us is a bit of a reboot. Okay. You know, we were very happy and this is, we're finding this is another way to be happy together. This is the Blue Wonder. My goal is to amass many stickers. Uh, this is how I think of it. The wheels okay. are the foundation, like in a house. Underneath the back seat is the basement. Okay. We're making our way up the house, right in here. All That's right. the basement. Then the interior is the dwelling. And then you can see there's a roof, of course, and an attic. Nice. And just as I pay attention to each of those at, in a house, I'm paying attention to each of those in my uh, Blue Wonder. Yes. Makes it easier for me to think that this isn't so, such a big stretch. 
Right. 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 Sometimes when people go on the road, they have to like think that it's like so totally different. It's really not. No. It's, it's really not. Once you're there, you understand that. Yes, and you, if I, if you think of, if, when I think of my space as zones, that helps a lot. It helps everything stay in its place too. Yes. So this is my, uh, my one of my many joy spots where uh, I keep my leisure activities, like my books. It's a mess. Um, <laughs> the great reveal of my books and games and puzzles some photos, a sketchbook, art supplies, my binder where I keep all my ideas for where I want to travel. That's all just tucked away in here in one space. It's easy to get to. This is the entryway. So welcome to my living room of the Blue Wonder. This couch un uh, pulls out into a full bed. Very comfortable. The kitchen area has everything I need. It is built on a $5 <laughs> cabinet that came from a store that only sells used children's furniture. I walked in, it was actually this way. I walked in, cocked my head, <laughs> and realized that's it, that's gonna fit. And this is now my kitchen cabinet. And I love this feature. I like sitting on the floor. It's more comfortable for me when I'm cooking and I don't know why. So if you open up the cupboard, there's a counter right here. Nice. The, the cutting board is Velcroed to it. And the, this is actually some dehydrated greens that I grew at home that are organic. And I sprinkle them on absolutely everything. So there's a little piece of home here. And I have everything I need and everything I want in this kitchen. Then there's another door over here as well that opens up, but I have covered right now. So I could access more storage there. On top is the one burner stove and it's gas one. All of my cooking supplies are right on top super convenient water filter a zero water water filter and then my morning shelf this is how I start my day with everything on this shelf mm -hmm. vitamins and, and beverage stuff and then on the right I just picked this up a couple of days ago for free in the free pile mm -hmm. and it's serving so many purposes it, it has drawers obviously so it's great storage but finally it's a surface that something will stick to Mm -hmm. In a minivan, that's a real challenge. The surfaces are coated, and so nothing sticks to them, and magnets don't work. So I was able to stick some of my sentimental items. It's always nice to have pictures and things of your family and things that you yeah. cherish. Yeah, it's really heartwarming. You can see I have an altar up here. Mm -hmm. And part of the altar is the tape measure. <laughs> Which is I gotta on, have a tape measure. Yes, and it's on one of the sticky pads. That's how I keep track of it. <laughs> um, let's see. The there's I have do have a cooler. I do have a small little cooler. I don't have a refrigerator. I'm okay. vegetarian, which makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And I do eat my leftovers in the morning. Okay. So that that takes care of that. Unless I have a smoothie. This little cooler. Uh, is all I need. If I do need to keep something cool, it's super easy in this little cooler. Right now I just keep my beverages in there, but they're room temperature. Mm -hmm. And I keep a bag of water in there that helps regulate the temperature in there so it doesn't get too hot, even though it's not chilled. Okay, that's a nice feature to know. Yeah, it creates a, a barrier, like an air barrier almost. And then you have a seat over here. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a seat, so I can sit on, I can pull this out, sit on here and cook, or I can sit on the couch and cook, mm -hmm. or I can sit on the floor and cook. Underneath is my bathroom. Now this is a really great tip that was a complete and utter game changer for me. Okay. The five gallon buckets are too tall in a minivan. I couldn't sit on top of it without having to do this with my head. Right. And it hurt, you know. I found that the 15 inches was my max. Max. And is that, is that, I wonder if we have the same size bucket, then mine is a three and a half gallon bucket. Okay. I have to measure the... Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. 
and well you have a measuring tape i do well, let's see, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> <laughs> everything's so convenient convenient when you're in a small place let's see what it measures All right so it is 12 inches 12 okay so yeah. you got a little bit of headroom yep and the uh what i've done is it's a it's a it's a it's a bucket that they sell for car washes, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Three and a half gallons, just as wide as a five gallon. Yep. So I have one little bucket in there that's for solids and one little long cylinder that's for liquids. Like okay. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it keeps them nice and separate. Do you just use a bag system? I do. Well, well yes. I line the solids bucket with a, a bag. The liquid gold can um tube doesn't have a i just empty that every morning and then oh and then the whole bucket the entire bucket i have you can come over here and take a look if you'd like here. so this is what it looks like mm -hmm. and then i have it inside oh of, i see inside of one of the mm -hmm. ottoman right cubbies. yeah and you can see it's a nice bright yellow happy color i like that mm -hmm. and i Put a ring on it so it's leak tight okay so this isn't going anywhere right and then i have a garbage hefty bag all the way around the bucket so that when i travel it's the leak tight is completely screwed on and all i have to do is close the bag on top of it it's also i just thought of this the other day something i could stand on as a stool if i needed okay. to get up high mm -hmm. because it's strong short, enough it's short enough five gallon not stable right three and a half gallon stable mm -hmm. All right, this is the living room. You see my traveling companion. <laughs> I've had Kangra since I was six or seven. Mm. And she had some recent surgery. Aww. Yes, <laughs> so she keeps me company. And it's that, like the Velveteen Rabbit story. Oh, <laughs> I love that story. Well, I, I don't know her very well. Oh yeah, about a little boy who's... Oh, you'll just have to read the story. I don't want to spoil it I for will. you. Yeah. I've been hearing about good children's stories on this trip, like the trolley family. Oh, okay. I have heard that The family that lives in a trolley. Okay. And then an old favorite of mine and my husband, Ananda's, is the boxcar children, mm. which is very much, you know, like what we're doing here. Exactly. Except we're not orphans. <laughs> we, have a, we have a tribe. Yeah. Um, so learning the ukulele on the road is a lot of fun. And that's a little bit bigger than the one that I have. What size is that? Yeah, this is a baritone. Okay. And what's nice about the baritone is that these four strings are tuned exactly the same as a guitar. Oh, nice. So the chords are the same. It's exactly the same. You just don't have to do the fingering that you would have done for the right. top two strings. So okay. So you're just using... If it like a C is mm -hmm. these two instead right. of having to also reach your fourth finger up there okay. onto another string, mm -hmm. you can play along very easily with guitarists with a baritone because of this. You can watch their fingering, figure out what they're playing, and you don't have to transpose mm -hmm. any notes. Good to know. Yeah, that's that. And then this yesterday, this is the new edition. I remodeled yesterday. There is a shelf under here. Mm -hmm. Voila. It's okay. a big deal in a minivan. That is a big deal in a minivan. <laughs> right. Send your shelf. Before the shelf was here, I was only able to do two cubbies sideways, and the whole bottom would expand down and fill up this whole space. Mm -hmm. With the shelf, I was able to have three cubbies facing forward, so they're going deep back there, and they don't collapse down. So I've, you know, I've multiplied my storage up here, as well as down here. Yes, you have. There. And, and you it took only six know hours that. to do it with a with That's a, okay. with a friend and we figured it Worthwhile out. Worthwhile six hours. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. You don't know these things until you're really on the road. Yeah. That it makes such a difference mm -hmm. being on the road. And being willing to, to modify mm -hmm. as you go along. Don't get right. too attached. That's, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it though. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I just am trying not to get too attached. Mm. This is my closet, my clothes closet over okay, here. I'm going to sneak in here. This is a really neat um, device. It's, okay. it, it's oh, made it is so nice. that you can just place it right in a suitcase. Yeah. 
and it has nice a nice front that zippers up yeah and it air it has venting mm -hmm. so your clothes can air and then it's just the right size for a small carry-on luggage yeah it fits right up there on yeah your that's done. very nice yeah. yeah and then this is a, a futon that a friend gave me mm -hmm. and it's filled with something other than cotton it's filled with a, a a fiber from India, and I don't remember what the what the fiber is called. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable. Okay. And nice. what else? Oh, do you want to see the counters? Yes. Show us the counters. Okay. All right. So remember the the Joy Library. Yes. Has a puzzle, right? Because I love puzzles. But then there's okay. Where am I supposed to have a space big enough to do a puzzle? Well, here's here's the ticket. First of all. In order to explain that, I'll explain the, the counter system. Everything's adjustable. I love having options. This is a strip of wood that, you know, from the house, and it comes off. What it is attached to is a long metal aluminum bar that's rounded on the top and flat on the bottom. It's used in RVs to attach uh, shelving and the other, tables, yeah. yeah, tables. Right. The, I put a strip on this plank and a strip here so this can fit like that right nice. and it can also slide back and forth and give me table wherever i need it okay that's just the shallow counter scenario yes right. under door number two <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Okay. All right. So there's this is another tabletop, same strips. And you'll see I have it on two sides. I have it here and here. Mm -hmm. Well, there are, for the puzzles, I'm going to go right to the cut right to the chase. For the puzzle, there. And then I just have a little dowel. There's a table. I can use this for anything. Yes, you can. It's wide enough for the computer and a keyboard. I can put my sketchbook out here and sketch. Mm -hmm. I tested all of this out. <laughs> for the puzzle, as long as the puzzle isn't too big. Extend that with that. Oh, yeah. that is clever. And that's why you have it on two sides. Right. And there it is. Ingenious. And then it just, <laughs> and you know, I have to say, right now, leaning forward onto something is a relief for my back. It's a relief for my whole, I feel my nervous system shift. Okay. So having a table to just lean forward on feels really good. That's I, a good tip. Yeah. And you realize you don't get a chance to do that much mm -hmm. out here. Right. Yeah, so this just feels really good. Um, super adjustable. And what do you do with your puzzle when you're... Oh, after you're great question. <laughs> All right. I have a tube. comes in an inf in a bag, carrying bag. There's some felt right there. And then inside is this little itty-bitty tube that you blow up. Oh. And then... So I would have it like this mm -hmm. and then the felt you know would be pulled would be all the way out however yeah. long I needed yeah and I'd have my puzzle pieces it comes out all the way yeah have my puzzle pieces on it and I'd start putting the puzzle together and I'd have scrap pieces and then when I wanted to fold it up and put it out of the way right you roll it this would all be unrolled mm -hmm. you roll it around the tube and you're rolling up your puzzle. Your puzzle. Nice. Game changer. There's yeah. so many game changers. Yeah, it's nice to learn about these things because a lot of people like to do crafts and puzzles. I did a lot of puzzles during COVID. You did? How many do you think you did? <gasps> oh my gosh. 20 maybe? What? Yeah. That is a lot of yeah, did... me and my husband actually did it. We enjoyed it. Did you keep them? One of them we framed. A, the really hard one or it was really hard yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I have a whole it was actually um one about all tv stars and old timers you know like Andrew Griffith's show and 
friends and all their faces. So it's full oh. of faces, which was difficult to do. That is difficult, but friendly faces. Yeah, so, friendly faces so nice for to sure. Look at. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're smiling back at you. That's true, yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, I have to give my mother-in-law Nan a shout out because we have an entire bookcase at home that's filled with puzzles. Because she gives me puzzles really nice puzzles at mm -hmm. every opportunity oh nice she keeps me very well supplied <laughs> this is an opolar fan it's a usb charged fan it is super quiet it is very quiet. gentle right it does not keep me awake it doesn't stress me out during the day to hear it mm -hmm. it doesn't hit that frequency that's grating mm -hmm. and it gives a good air this is a low airflow right now and mm -hmm. uh, what's nice about having it there is i can turn it and it will blow out the fumes from the butane here okay. out the window. Nice. And how do you charge everything? Because you're not needing to charge a refrigerator. Right. That's right. What I do is this is a, I think it's 150 watt, something like that, battery. Mm -hmm. And it it's an inverter. By, yeah, it's by Butens. Mm -hmm. yeah, it has an inverter inside. Mm -hmm. And it has AC, DC, mm -hmm. USB ports, and I charge it either off of the car when I'm traveling or off my solar panel. Okay. Yeah. You have or a the portable house. solar panel? Or, yes, I do. Yeah, I can show you where that is when we look behind the kitchen at another special feature. Well, okay. All right. Awesome. <laughs> and then you said your your bed folds out. You don't need to do that, but yeah. um, your bed just just folds out. Yeah, it just pulls mm -hmm. right on out. It's, okay. It's there, and it just... Uh, there, we made sure to have little extra wood here at the yeah. end of it, mm -hmm. so that when it comes out, it's the same height as okay. the rest of the platform. Mm -hmm. Oh, and under here is storage, uh, additional storage. Okay. And did you build that yourself, or you and your husband? My husband and I built this uh, bed together. I built okay. the platform, the, what do you call it? The platform for the bed I built. And he built the frame for the bed, okay. and he secured it. This isn't going anywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and so this is really a, a joint project that uh -huh. the bed is. Now, did you stow your seats or take them out? I took them out. The, this Toyota Sienna does not allow, doesn't have any cavity for storing okay. the seat. It so has you a do track. have to remove them. It has a quite a cumbersome track. And, and did you cover that with a yes, flooring? Or? Yes. Uh, we, okay. We lost about mm, three inches of height. Yeah. But gained some storage under there, too. Okay. You know, around the tracks. Sure. The spare tire is also right under here, where I'm okay. pointing. Yeah. So we created an, a way to remove part of the floor to get to the spare tire okay. to unscrew it. Um, not everybody thinks of that when they... Yeah, you got to get your out. spare. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then this is something I stumbled onto today. I just slide the phone in and out. And it's Okay. And I it's love like those pocket. binder clips. Yes. They're so useful for okay. so many things. Yeah. So it's just oh, a that's a good pocket. idea. Yeah. And I can huh. just get it in and out. Very simple. Yeah. Anybody can do that. Yeah. And you don't have to make anything stick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have up in your storage? Oh, well, I have... In your attic. In my attic, thank you. <laughs> in the attic, there are winter clothes for when I make my way back up to the north, okay. east. There are very lightweight summer clothes because I'm going to be somewhere very hot in February. Okay. And then my mid-weight clothes I keep here, down here because of the desert that's just different out here right now. Wow, three seasons of clothes, that's yeah. amazing. Including boots and clothes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was something I'd like to share about the closet, actually, area. Okay, sure. These cubbies that are to the right of the bed, Yes. when you're facing this way, well, when I'm laying down, they're on my left, mm -hmm. and layers. At night, I'll get a little too warm, a little too cold, so I'm shedding, I'm adding. Those are my win my bedtime layers, and okay. they're just within arm's reach. Convenient. Yeah. 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 That's great. This is my grab and go uh, hiking backpack. It has all the necessities for camping. This is my day pack if I'm, you know, just tootling around somewhere, and in my slippers. So okay. This help it feel like home. I like seeing them first thing. Okay. So in the attic, 
Yes. The clothing. Mm -hmm. There's also some building materials. Uh, oh. I have some quarter inch plywood left over so that <laughs> if I wanted to do any more construction, I could. Okay. I have a jigsaw. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I have a hacksaw. Uh -huh. And with uh, the help of, of a friend yesterday, I was able to use her electricity and her carpentry skills and we were able to build that shelf together. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Uh, what, with the shelf? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, let's Great. take a look. And then in the attic, there's also, you know, miscellany that I thought I'd need. This is the, the back of the van, so it's a second couch. I can sit here and face out, mm -hmm. just like this. Oh, yeah. That's comfortable. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And then I can put my feet on right there. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about this bike rack. This, is a, this bike rack will hold four bikes. It's left over from the house. And I kept it on here in case I rented a bike so Good that I have that option. Yeah. Yeah. And what it's turned into is a great stepping stool for getting up <laughs> to the cargo, a great footstool for when I sit in here, and it holds my bedding when I need to get into my basement. Ah, so, multi purpose. Yeah, highly, highly recommend. <laughs> and the. This is an extension of the So this shelf. is what you built yesterday. Yes, this is what we built yesterday. Adrian and I built this together. The faucet is a new addition to the Blue Wonder. Oh, okay. This has a tube that goes down into a six gallon igloo water container. Mm -hmm. This PVC pipe uh, reinforces it because this is only quarter inch plywood. There's a lot of flex. Mm -hmm. right? So it just reinforces it. Now you and I tested it this morning and it actually has a leak in the gasket right here, which I'm gonna fix. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna have a faucet back here in order to access the water from the blue igloo. Okay, nice. The basement is below the couch. A feature of the basement is that I split it so that you don't have to open oh, yeah. it all, mm -hmm. right? You can just open Part One side. Oh, that's. Oh, you got a lot of storage. In oh, there. yeah. Yeah. The closet to your right behind you mm -hmm. is a shower tent. Okay. And I throw stuff in there like my chair and my table. You can see here too. I want everybody to see that we can have ladders on the road. Yeah. These telescoping ladders are Telescope. fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're lightweight. You can carry that mm -hmm. in and out of here. And it goes right up alongside the van. And then I can get to the sides of the cargo, mm -hmm. I mean, sides of the attic. And I like too that my back uh, view is not not obstructed. It's mm -hmm. very clear. I can see right through. This is where there's more water. Oh. Oh. <gasps> wow. I love the size of that. Yeah, right? This is, I had to pay a little extra for these from a plastic company that sells these. These were not on Amazon. They are narrow and tall and light enough. Well, actually, that's a very comfortable weight for getting good stretch. I think it's two gallons. The, the trick that I use okay. is, this is a kit, so that I don't have to go into that five gallon bucket all the time, or six gallon. I can put an empty one of these in my backpack. Oh, okay with this tube, okay. go into a public restroom, put the tube, the black end of the tube at the end of the faucet. Make sure it's really yeah. sealed or else it's gonna spray out at you. Really sealed on that. Put this end into the jug. Yeah. Fill it up. Ingenious. And then put back <laughs> my backpack. Did you think of that yourself yes. or did you see it on a no, I channel? No, I, I can't. You know, a lot of these things come to you as you're creating a space or buy something or add something, then you realize other uses and uh -huh. other ways. That's how this one happened. But a lot of what I've learned has come from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. You, amazing YouTubers are so generous with their- So that's an Ishana <laughs> original. Oh, you wanted to see the outside kitchen? Sure. Okay. I'll get the- Okay. The this is a very innovative I'm gonna call it a no build, build, build. <laughs> this is partly no build and partly build. It's true, yeah. Well, I think that goes back to the boxcar children. And are you familiar with that story? Yeah. Yeah, Out here? Okay. There's a sweet spot. There's the sweet spot. It's the same kind of bracket, 
as inside that holds the shelf to oh. the cupboard. Okay. And I just haven't found the sweet spot, but you get the idea. Yeah. This is now a kitchen table. An outside table. And I just pull out the stove, which is right here, uh -huh. onto here. Yeah. And the other night, there was a campfire happening right here, about 40 feet from, from us. Right. Surrounded by women. Just gabbing, gab and you heard the word chocolate every 30 seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the stars were coming out. It was so nice. And I was out here cooking. Oh, oh yeah. Just such That's a the life. And what do you have it on? That's different than yeah, just a pole. This is a shower curtain rod that you can adjust the tension on. Oh, okay. And what I like probably the height is, too. Yeah, the height. Thank you. The height. Yeah. Yes. And that way, because these. You can see there's a lot of rocks. That right. means that your height's always going to be a little different. Right. Yeah. So that just makes that really easy. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> this is a wonderful, seriously wonderful, well thought out. And you haven't been on the road that long. No, but I built on what I learned 10 years ago when I did this for three months. Okay. You know, so was, you were in a vehicle before. That's correct. Yeah. And I had an army cot. Okay. As a, one big bin mm -hmm. and one of those under bed storage bins. Yes. I think that might, and a duffel bag. Okay. And I learned from that that I want this life. Uh, but I also learned what I wanted to make myself more comfortable mm -hmm. and what I didn't need. And one of the things I wanted to, wanted to have was a bathroom in the van. It felt safer mm -hmm. and I could stay in the van. And I also wanted a way to cook. So, and, and now, you know, I have a beautiful husband I want to travel with, so that means I need a bigger bed. So all those things meant doing it differently this time. Right, right. Yeah, and figuring it out. And it's been a lot of fun. And you figured it out really well. Thank you. Are there any other changes you would see yourself making in the future? Are you pretty happy right now? Is there any burning desire that you haven't quite figured out yet? Yes. Okay. For the times when I'm, when I want to work in the van on my computer for several hours at a time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I would like to not be working where I'm sleeping, right on the same. I don't want to always be sitting or sleeping on the same, you know, cushion and bed. Psychologically, I want a, some variety. Okay. And. So I'm trying to figure that out, what that okay. might look like. Even if I'm just facing a different direction, uh, mm -hmm. some option right. where I can sit. Yeah. One thing that I wish I could have in my van is to be able to have a swivel seat on the passenger mm. side. I don't know whether it's possible. I haven't come across anything viable right now. Oh, it's definitely a game that's another game yeah sure. I think that you know the airbags and the wires that are down there I might not happen I did see a YouTube video where somebody did do that um, they, but they had somebody in else a minivan it. yeah it was in a minivan okay. yeah it was uh, it might have we'll have to look yeah that we'll up. look at that I'll, I'll tell you who I think I, it was okay um, yeah because I know people are doing it it's mm -hmm. just about doing it safely and exactly. as one person said at the women's RTR a few days ago, or no, it was around the campfire. Um, she put a ba she put a bicycle helmet on when she did it. Oh she yeah, did it herself in case the airbag deployed. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's a reason to hire it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw um, one YouTuber taking her front seat out, and she hired it out, and it was complicated. It looks yeah. really complicated. It's not something that no. you want to take lightly, especially but, for safety. If you're going to be having passengers in your car. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I think that, that would add a lot of square footage, mm -hmm. and it would give you that different direction, and also give your body a different way to sit, which mm -hmm. is healthy. We don't want to always be sitting in the same way right. for our spine. Yeah, and I think that's why I like that one seat up that I have in my van. Yeah. That gives me an, another area to sit. Right. Yeah, and those seats, so something I've learned is that the seats in vehicles, they're constructed to give us the right kind of support for eight hours mm -hmm. because people take long trips. Whereas a seat at home mm -hmm. is just, isn't built that way. Right. Yeah. Have you seen those steering wheel um, little counters that they have? Yeah, I wasn't able to get it to work. And also okay. I would have to 
push my seat back yes. in order to have it. Yeah. Yeah, if I found one that worked. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I use all the space behind my seat. Okay. Uh, but what I did do with the seats at home, I took them out. Mm -hmm. And two of them are in our meditation room. Mm -hmm. And they're leather and they're just the right angle and they're so comfortable. So you can sit in there and meditate on luxury car seats if you, <laughs> you want. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm sure my viewers will love your van. And are you planning on um, starting a YouTube channel at some point? I am. Or? Yeah. Okay. I am. Do you have a name? Well, yet, I, or? it might be. It's going to be, I think, one of two things. Okay. It's going to either be Blue Wonder, uh -huh. maybe Blue Wonder Adventures, something okay. like that, but Blue Wonder. Or it's going to be part of my other channel, which I'm starting up in a few months, called Radiant Pearl. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And what is that about? That's going to be about alternative lifestyles okay. and paradigm shifts uh, that can bring us greater freedom, personal freedom. And I want to wish everybody happy travels, courage, adventure, friendship, just make the most of this precious precious life that we that we have and that we can share together 10 years ago when I did this I did it by myself mm -hmm. and the difference now is there is community and that is deeply soul nourishing yeah community yeah. is very important yeah thank you so much well thank you very much for the opportunity <laughs>